Well, a well-known homeless advocate is now sitting behind bars. Kevin Dahlgren was arrested this morning by Multnomah County Sheriff's deputies on 19 charges of property theft, identity theft, and official misconduct and will be arraigned tomorrow morning. Fox 12 investigative reporter Ezra Kaplan had been interviewing Dahlgren for a story focusing on homelessness before these allegations surfaced and he joins us now live in the studio. Studio, Ezra, what can you tell us? Yeah, that's right. So just one week ago, Kevin and I were walking the streets of Old Town discussing the experiences of the unhoused community. The charges against him allege criminal behavior going back to 2020 and investigators say they are still working on locating additional victims. For years, Kevin Dahlgren worked as a homeless services specialist for the city of Gresham. But in March, the city says the staff discovered suspicious activity and placed Dahlgren on administrative leave. Shortly thereafter, Dahlgren resigned. Out of a job, he took to the streets, making videos of interviews with unhoused people, sometimes going viral. Meanwhile, the city of Gresham was working with the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office and District Attorney to put together enough evidence to bring charges. Last week, prosecutors presented their case to a grand jury, including testimony from witnesses that Mr. Dahlgren is accused of stealing identities from. In total, Dahlgren is charged with seven counts of theft against the city of Gresham, each for over $1,000, seven counts related to identity theft, and five counts of official misconduct, which means he misused his role as a government official. The Multnomah County District Attorney says that after obtaining a warrant, Dahlgren was arrested this morning. They say the investigation is ongoing and are asking for anyone who has had contact with Mr. Dahlgren in his capacity as an outreach worker to contact the sheriff's office. Now, we have reached out to Dahlgren for comment, but as far as we know, he is currently still in jail, so of course we have not heard back. He is scheduled for his arraignment tomorrow morning.